What's up everyone, how you all doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to another Minecraft tutorial. I sure hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now today guys, we are back in the medieval docks slash harbour area that we built up in the last episode. Which before I start guys, I just want to say thank you for all the support on that video. You guys seem to really enjoy it. I had a lot of good feedback and a lot of you asking me to continue the series and stuff like that. So don't worry guys, this series ain't going to be going nowhere. I've got a ton of tutorials planned for this build and this area. But if you guys have any ideas of things that you would like to see me build in this area, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But for now guys, let's take a look at what we're going to be building today. So today guys, we're going to be building this little warehouse area over in the corner here. And as you can see, we've got like a main house over here. This is going to be like the office. This is where maybe somebody who controls the docks would work. And uh, we we'll have an office in here. Maybe he lives upstairs in this house. And um, yeah, this is a pretty simple little house. Nothing too crazy. And we've got three little warehouses over here which we're going to be building. One of which is open and the other two are closed up. And then just a few little bits around the dock here just to make it look like it's being used and kind of just to give it a little bit of atmosphere in this area. So this is what we're going to be building up today guys. So without any further ado, let's take a look at what we're going to need to build this. Okay, for this build you're going to need some cobblestone, some oak logs, spruce planks, stairs, slabs, fences, trapdoors and buttons, some stone brick blocks, stairs and slabs, some glass blocks and panes of your choice. I'm going to go with the white stained glass. Uh, make sure the colours are matching for both blocks. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go with the white stained glass, I think, for this build. Now, we're also going to need a white block of your choice. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use the bone block. But as you can see, guys, we've got a couple of other variants here. You could use the white wall, white concrete, or even the stripped birch log. Um, it really doesn't matter. Either of these will look really nice. Um, or go ahead, you could even use something like the stripped oak log um, and change the colors up a little bit. Make the build your own. Now, for decorational purposes, we're going to be using some punk uh, melons, some pumpkins, some normal rails, some note blocks, which in my texture pack look like crates. We're also going to be using some normal chests, some flowers of your choice, some dirt or um, or cool stir or even grass, it doesn't matter, and a little bit of gravel. And with that being said, guys, let's get straight on with the build. Okay, guys, we're going to start on the left-hand side of the docks over here, and we're going to be building from this corner here. So starting from this corner here guys let's just jump straight over to the next pillar here and we're just going to break away this fence just here this oak log and trap door and this trap door here okay now using our oak logs we're going to go from this log here and to the right we're going to leave a five block gap so one two three four and five place a block on the sixth one now behind this we're going to leave a three block gap and go one two three and four and there should be a three block gap between all of those pillars we're going to match it up on this side as well leaving a three block gap again so one two three and four giving us five pillars in total down the side okay something like this now from the right hand corner here we're going to go to the second pillar behind go back one and to the right and we're going to place a block just there to the right we're going to leave a five block gap and place another pillar then we're going to leave another five block gap and place a pillar and then finally one more five block gap and place a pillar just there actually we're going one too far to there and then behind this block we're going to leave three block gaps so one two and three okay giving us four pillars down the side here right now let's go ahead and raise all of the, the ones on this side so this this row here and this row here, we're going to raise all of these until they are four blocks in height, okay? So there's already one at the bottom, so two, three, and four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And we're going to do this all the way around these two rows. Okay. Now, we're going to raise the rest of these pillars to six blocks high, okay? So there's already one there, so two, three, four, five, and six. Two, three, four, five, and six. 
two, three, four, four, five, and six. And we're just gonna finish up all of these to six blocks high. Okay, once you've done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now starting over with this left hand row here, we're gonna join these pillars together at the top like this. Just placing three logs in the center. Then across the front here, we're gonna place five logs and join that one together. Then we're gonna run them down this side also, joining all of these logs together. And then at the very back here, we're gonna join these logs together as well, like this. Okay. Now for the taller ones, we're gonna go ahead and join these together as well. So we're gonna run a log from there all the way across. We're gonna run it down this side here, making sure that we are placing them on the very top log. Now, once you've done that guys, you're gonna start from this pillar here and you just wanna run a pillar all the way across to the wall. Make sure it joins onto the wall. Do the same on this pillar here. And the same with this pillar here. Okay, once you're done guys, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now, on the very front over on the left hand side here, we're just going to break these two top logs and then place two against it like this so that you have one log sticking out. Okay, on both of these corners, we're going to go one, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. Now, onto the side here, we're going to place a log here and a log here. And we're going to go one, two, three, and four on there as well. And one, two, three, four on there. Around this side here, we're going to repeat the same thing. So place a log sticking out on there and a log sticking out there. There should be a three block gap in the middle, but we're placing it right above the pillars. Then we're going to raise these by four again. Okay. Now at the front here, we're going to just raise these by one block extra, I think, just like so. Okay guys, once you're done, you have something that looks a bit like this. Now we're gonna come over to the front of this build here and we're just gonna fill in between these two pillars like this, all the way up to the top. So all the way up to there, okay? Around the side here, we're gonna go ahead and just run blocks all the way around the rim like this, leaving a gap in the center here for our door. Let's go through that gap. And now we're gonna just fill all of the walls in all the way around the build, okay? And we want to keep it between the wooden pillars. So we're going to be running it down here. At the back here, we want to go between this pillar and this pillar. And then all the way down the side here again. Placing stone blocks between the pillars like this. All the way around, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that, guys. Okay, once you're done, you have something that looks a bit like this, and we should have a little doorway just on the side here, okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some spruce stairs. And on the two logs at the front sticking out, we're going to place an upside down stair there. We're going to place another two at this side here. And then around this side here, we're going to place one here. And if you can get to that one just there, you might need to break a couple of bits of dirt place one upside down just there okay and if you need to guys just go ahead and just fill in something down there just so that it doesn't look a mess something kind of like that okay and then grab your stairs again so now we've got some upside down stairs there to create a bit of shape we're gonna just add a little bit of detail so what we're gonna do is go on this wooden log here, we're gonna place two upside down stairs like that in the center. And on this one here, we're gonna place just one in the center. Okay, and we're gonna do the same around this side here as well. Just one in the center. Then we're gonna put two slabs at the side of that. A slab in between on the top half of these. And then two slabs like so there. Then on the corner here, place an upside down slab, a uh, uh, top half slab rather. And on the other side here, place another top half slab. 
So you should now have something that looks a bit like this. Now get the white block of your choice. I'm going to be using the bone block here guys, but feel free to use any white block of your choice, whether it's white wall, white concrete, white concrete powder, stripped birch wood, or anything that's similar to a kind of light colored block. Now on the very front here, we're going to go one, two, three, and four. Okay. And we're going to raise this to four blocks all the way across this gap. Just like so. And we're going to do the same in this gap here. Okay, bringing it to four blocks high. This block gap here is going to be exactly the same again, guys, bringing it up to four blocks high. Okay, now we're going to go down the side here. So from this pillar here, we're going to actually come diagonally in one. So we're going to come here. We're going to run these all the way down, all the way to the end, but not onto that pillar there, okay? There we're going to actually place another pillar in just a moment. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five there, and then miss the corner, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and eleven, okay? And we're going to raise all of these by four blocks, but before we do that, let's quickly put in our pillars in the corner here, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so they match up with the front. Now, let's go ahead and let's fill the rest of this wall in. And we're going to raise it to four blocks high, just like the rest. Okay, guys, once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now, what we're going to actually do, guys, is we're going to actually raise these ones to the same level as the uh, front pillars, okay? So put one on top of these pillars and one block on top of these two pillars here like this. Now, go to the back pillar over here, and we're going to run a pillar all the way to the front, okay? So we're going to keep running it all the way down until we join this log here. Do the same with this one. Then we're going to join the front across here. Also going to join these across the sides here. And then finally across the back as well, okay? So you should now have something from above that looks a bit like this, all right? So you've got the, pi the pillar running all the way around and then just across these two at the sides as well. Right now, it's time to get our roof in place, guys. So what we're going to do is on the very top here, we're going to place a normal stair right there, another one next to it, and then one sideways against that stair there so that it swoops around the corner. Then place an upside down stair there and an upside down stair just there. We're going to do the same over this side again. So one and two and then one facing that way, upside down stair and an upside down stair here. Now, we're going to go ahead and on the normal stair, we're going to place an upside down stair underneath and an upside down stair underneath facing towards each other like that. And then just go ahead and put a slab on the bottom half just there. We're going to do the same here. So an upside down stair facing that way, an upside down stair facing that way, and then a slab just on the bottom like that. Okay. Now, from here... We're going to go ahead and we're going to just do the front the front, front roof first, okay? So we're going to go block, block, stair, and a stair face each other. Upside down stairs against those. And then back to the full block. Stair, stair, upside down stair, full block, stair, and a stair. And then in the center, we'll go upside down stair with an upside down stair facing outwards and an upside down stair on top like so. And that's looking pretty good. Now for the smaller windows at the sides here, things are going to look a little bit different down this side. So what we're going to do is we'll place an upside down stair on the top of that end pillar like that so that it matches with this side. And we'll put a, a normal stair on the back. 
then what we're gonna do is because we're gonna have it running down so now we're gonna go a stair there and then run some normal stairs all the way down this side here like this until we get to here go one extra on that side now we want to do the same over on this side as well so we're gonna do the same so we're gonna go upside down stair a normal stair normal stair and then curve that stair around there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just break out some of the ground here to get this in. Now, I'm just going to leave... Actually, no, we'll, I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and break it so you guys can see what's going on, because otherwise it's going to look a little bit funny. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just continue running this one all the way until we're one block past the, the end pillar, all right? And then place an upside-down stair like that, okay? Now, we're going to repeat on the back here the same pattern we've got on there, okay? So we're literally going to go stair, uh, block, stair, upside down stair. Block, stair, upside down stair. Block, stair, and I think that is about the center of the build, okay? Yep, yeah, that's the center block now. So now we're going to do this side. So we're going to go block, stair, upside down, oops, upside down stair, block, stair, upside down stair block stair and then we're gonna face an upside down stair from the back a normal stair on top and an upside down stair facing outwards like so okay now for our little peaks here we're gonna do the same thing so it's gonna be block stair upside down stair block stair and that's the center okay so again block stair Upside down stair, block, stair, upside down stair in the center, stair on top, upside down stair sticking out. And then finally, this side here as well. So we're going to go a block with a stair facing towards each other, upside down stair, block, stair facing towards each other, upside down stair in the center with a stair on top and a stair facing down outwards upside down like so okay now that's the outline of the roof all in place and looking good now before we go ahead and fill in the rest of this part guys and do it more details on here i'm going to start working on these little sheds here so we can bring the roofs up together so let's start with the cobblestone so first of all we're going to go ahead and on the very first one here we want to fill all of this wall across here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place stones all the way to the very back of the build like this. And we want to raise this all the way up to this pillar at the top here. Okay, so we're going to do that in just a second. We're also going to go ahead and do this gap here. Bring it all the way down. And we're going to raise that one to the pillar as well. We're going to do the same down here. Again. All the way there, raising it to that pillar. And then on this side here, we're going to fill in these gaps in between these pillars like this. Okay, and we're going to raise them to that top pillar as well like so. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly do all of that. And then we will get on with what to do next. Alright guys, once you're done, you have something that looks a bit like this and we've got our dividers in between all of our little warehouses. Now, we're going to come over to this left hand side one here and one block back from the pillar, we're going to go one, two, three, four and five. Do the same here, one, two, three, four and five and then put a pillar all the way across the top like so. Okay, do the same in this gap here. Join it all the way across. And the same in this one here as well. Okay, that's looking pretty good. 
Now let's go ahead and get our spruce stairs out. And now we're going to try and work in the roof here. So this is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to start with some stairs and we're going to run them all the way down this side here on the top part of that log. We'll overhang it by one on this side. Then we're going to do an upside down stair there. Then we're going to put an upside down stair facing towards us, an upside down stair facing towards us. And then this side, we're not going to be able to get to it. So we're going to have to make a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a fix on this corner. So we're going to just do the normal stair, upside down stair pattern for these. So it's just going to be just like this until we reach the center, which I think is just there. And then we're going to put an upside down stair in the center, a normal stair on top, and then an upside down stair sticking out. Now, we're going to reverse it now, so we're going to go a stair, and then go upside down stair, normal stair, upside down stair, and then in the center, we want to make sure the stair faces towards the front of the build like this, okay? So we want to place it facing it like that, okay? Then we're going to go upside down stair on the side, normal stair, upside down stair, normal stair, and we're at the center now, so we're going to place an upside down one facing towards us. Stair like that and a stair like that. Okay, the same kind of pattern. So place a normal stair on there. Then we're going to go upside down stair. Normal stair, upside down stair, normal stair. Then on the last one here, we're going to just go normal stair, upside down, all the way until we get to the center point, which I think is just there, which it is, yep. Place a stair upside down facing us. Stair on top with an upside down stair sticking outwards. Then we're gonna go a normal stair, upside down stair. A little bit tight getting in here, but we can do it. So a normal stair and then an upside down stair just there. Okay, so you can see it kind of almost joins this bit of the roof here. Now go ahead and get your oak log and behind this. Now you can choose what you want to do here, guys. You can either have the lighter, a light pillar in the center or the oak log in the center. I'm going to have a lighter log, uh, the lighter pillar in the center. So I'm going to place two logs like this at each side, okay? And I'm going to do the same again here. So imagine there was a pillar here. We've got leave one block, pillar, leave one block, pillar, leave one block, pillar. And we just continue it here. So go two two there would be one there but we're not going to put one there two and two, two yeah and then we can go one block then one two three one there one there one two three one 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 two three and then one okay and that gives us like a kind of triangle shape behind each of these okay that's looking good now for these roofs, we're just going to keep these as spruce. So I'm going to just, where there's a stair here, I'm just going to run it all the way to this back wall here and then just connect it up. And I'm just going to repeat the pan all the way across. All right, so let's go all the way across. Let's do the same for this one and this one as well. Then from the center here, I'm actually going to run some full planks all the way through the center. And I'm going to place a row of slabs all the way across the top. Okay, so we have something that looks a bit like that. And I'm basically going to just repeat that across the back here. So we're going to go again, we're going to go stair and stair. Now, on this one here, it will be a bit different because what this will be, this will be planks all the way down. And then we will go all the way and then the one behind that, one behind this stair here, we're going to put slabs. Now, I wouldn't normally have put the slabs, but the reason I'm putting the slabs here is because if you're planning survival, you'll end up getting mob spawn here. So if we put a half slab on there, we will be fine. Now, we can do exactly the same across this beam here as well. We're going to go four blocks all the way to the back. And then from behind that stair at the front, we're just going to run a row of slabs like this, okay? Now, get stairs again, and we're going to go 
stairs in there and on there okay now it's a little bit awkward getting into this gap here because we've put the slabs there so really we should have done we should have done the stairs before the slabs but it doesn't matter we can still get to them and then stairs across the back of this blocks here just like so and again here we're gonna do two lots we'll do stairs like this Then run planks from the top block of the centre, run that all the way down. That does make it a little bit easier for us to place our stairs all the way across like this. Then we can go ahead and place our slabs across the top of the centre. Let's get our stairs in at the bottom. Okay, now finally for this side here, guys, we're just going to place a row of stairs again. Go ahead and get your block in the center across the top or your planks. You could put anything you want through the center there if you wanted to because you're going to be covering it up. So you could, if you wanted, put some logs or anything else. It really doesn't matter. Um, just bearing in mind you may see it from the inside but we can cover it up so it's not a problem then run your slabs across the top run your other stairs across here and then we're just gonna fill this gap in now at this side here guys it gets a little bit different a little bit awkward okay because we're kind of joining up to this building here so we're gonna go ahead and place in some stairs all the way across the planks here okay and now here what we're going to do is we're going to just put a slab in between, okay, joining them together like this. Run it all the way to the end like so. And that will prevent mobs from spawning anywhere on the roof here, okay. So it should be mob. It should be a mob-free roof. Okay, that's looking pretty good, guys. I think we're looking pretty good in here now before you get started if you are playing survival a good idea would be to go ahead and light up all of these uh, little warehouses and inside the house here because we're gonna put a roof on it in just a second so once you've got some lights and that about you want to go to this roof here now this roof here is pretty straightforward really we're gonna go one two three like that because on the outside We've got a full block here and a full block here. So first thing we can do is join all of our full blocks together. So on the corner here, you want a little kind of V shape like this. Then on this one here, again, this is a full block. So go two like that and then two like that. And then just join it to the back here and we're going to run it all the way down like this. Okay, all the way to the back. And we're going to do the same with this one all the way to the back. Now. We've got a stair there, then we've got a full block. So on the full block there, we're going to go one, two, and then go one and two, and then put a third one to join them together. Again, same on this one. And then here we're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three, and then just run it all the way down this side here, and basically just join it up to the back here. Okay, it's very easy. This is a uh, there's really nothing to the process of the roof. Just joining the sides all together like this. Now in the center here, we're gonna just go one, two, three like this, and one, two, three like that. Then we're gonna come up to this block here and just run this all the way to the back of the build, like that. And then from this side here, all the way to the back. And then the center, just bring it all the way back on that next block like that. Okay, and it's pretty easy. Now, before I do the rest of the roof, I'm going to just quickly get in the uh, center pieces here. So let's get our bone blocks, and we're going to just fill all of this for the minute. We will be putting in a window up here, um, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and just fill all of this in like that, okay? Right, all in, in line with the wall below. Same at the back here again, guys. Just place all your white bone blocks or the white blocks that you chose to use. And just fill all of this gap in like this. 
okay and that should give you a nice finish on the outside so let's have a look yeah it's looking pretty good right now back to the roof guys let's get our stairs now so we've got our brick stairs and we're just going to literally just plop them on top and run them around like that and it just makes the roof so much easier to put together then around this side here we'll do the same thing so place the stairs that way then face them this way run them all the way to the back this way run them all the way across the tops of the the, um, the blocks like this and then turn at the sides and place them like that where we've got the stairs at the center here we're just going to put some oak slabs across the top like that and some oak slabs across the top like that okay then continue with the stairs on this side as well so we're going to do the stairs like this okay we're going to run stairs from here all the way to the back of the build on this one all the way to the front curve them around that edge same here and then I think we just got one more row at the top here to do yep and then once you're done guys get your spruce slabs and just run them through the center of the roof like this making sure you don't miss any Now there's lots of different things you can do with the roofs here but I'm trying to just keep the this part of the docks here quite simple okay quite simple and clean now in here guys come over and make sure you fill in your white blocks on the peak of this roof just like this just go ahead and fill that in and do the same over on this side as well okay so bring this all the way down just like that okay that's looking pretty good guys we're getting there now things are starting to really shape up here so now i plan on putting in some windows here so we're going to go ahead and break the two center blocks like this on this side we're also going to do the same on this side at the front here we're going to come to the center and break these two like that and at the top here staying in the center we're going to leave this one and we're going to break this one just here okay now on the top one here we're going to put an upside down stair like that and an ups uh sorry a normal stair and an upside down stair like that okay now we're going to go um how did we do this i think it's here yeah we go one there one there okay two slabs and then one in the center like so and then we're going to go one, two, three. Actually, no. We're not going to do none there. Then we're going to go three across here like this. And three across here like that. Underneath the window, we're going to do an upside down stair facing that way. Okay. And an upside down stair facing this way. Yep, that's looking pretty good. At the side here, we're just going to put a slab on the on the edge of the window there, okay? And the same on this side, we're just going to put a slab like that as a little window ledge. Okay, now get yourself some uh, spruce fences and some white stained glass panes, okay? Because we're going to be needing those. And then get yourself a spruce trapdoor as well. right once you're done guys you want to go ahead and get your spruce fences place two in here like this and then place one two three and four in the corner here one two three and four in the corner there okay now the white glass stained block you want to place two of them like this and then your stained glass panes put two here and two here to create a kind of bay looking window Place one in the window at the top there. And then two in the side here. And two in this side here. And overall, guys, I would say that is looking pretty good. 
Now get yourself some cool dirt or normal dirt and place it just in there and then go ahead and put a trapdoor on the front of it for a little flower pot just outside the window. Now I think that is looking pretty good guys. I think we've got most of what we need in here. If you wanted to you could go ahead and put another window up here but I don't think it really needs it on this little house. I think it looks good as it is. Now get yourself some uh, spruce buttons and just stick some on the tips of your logs. So just go there and there. There you can't see that one over there. And then two just like that. And I think that's looking pretty good. I really think that looks really good. I like the look of that. Now we're going to go ahead and get our upside down spruce stairs again. And we're going to place them underneath to make a little bit of an arch like this. Do the same on this side. And the same on this one. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. I like that. Now go ahead, get yourself a door as well. I'm going to go with a spruce wood door. And we're going to place it from the inside, just like so. Now, if you want, guys, go ahead and dig this flooring out and make it whatever floor you want. Um, we will be doing the interior for that in another video. Um, but for now, we're going to just leave it as it is. We're also going to need some cobblestone stairs. So let's go ahead and get our cobblestone. And we're going to place that just above the door, okay? Just to give it a little bit more shape and uh, sort of, you know, just look, makes it look a little bit nicer. Okay, now for the warehouses here. So what we're going to do, let's go onto the inside here. And it is a bit dark for the moment, guys. So let's go to the uh, roof, right up to the very top of the roof. Um, and we're going to go one block down. And we're just going to run a log all the way from one side to the next. Okay, and we're going to do that in all three of these. Okay, guys, now on this very end one here, we're going to just go ahead and we're just going to get ourselves some of the bone block. And we're going to just quickly come in here. And on this corner here, we're going to put in a bone block and then two logs in this corner here. Because this corner doesn't, the stairs don't come down like it does on the other, on the other little warehouses, all right? So we're just going to do that. Now, for me in this texture pack, guys, I like to use my end rods because they are made to look like lanterns. So, if you're using the uh, the snapshots for 114, there is lanterns there, so you could go ahead and use them lanterns. Otherwise, you could go ahead and use some torches. I'll tell you what to do with the torches in just a second. Um, or you could just use the end rods anyway, because they still point down, so you could use them as lighting in here anyway. So, on that log, guys, I'm going to go ahead, and from the front now, I'm going to leave a one block gap. I'm going to place one. Then I'm going to leave a three block gap and place one and another three block gap and place one like that. Okay, just to create a nice bit of light in here. Now, if you're using torches, I would suggest putting them on the sides here like this. I'll put the torches down the sides um, and put it on this side as well. And that should do for the light in. It should look, it should look okay. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and do exactly the same in all of these little, play, little uh, warehouses here. So we're going to do that, leave a three block gap and then a three block gap just there there we go that brightens it up in here and finally in this one here we're going to do the same even a three block gap between all of those little end rods and that creates a good bit of light there we go nice bit of light there now these two little warehouses here i'm just going to leave them closed off for now guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place some trap doors in here like that three of them then place three more on top and then I'm going to go one, two more on top of those. So there's four all on top of each other. Now to place them on top of each other, guys, you will need to crouch and then just go ahead and open them up like this. And that makes the door look like it's closed. Then we'll do the same here. And again, we're going to have to crouch as we do this. There we go. Now, on this one on the end here, we're going to make it look like it's actually open. So we're going to go from this side here. I think we're going to go one and two like this. Okay. 
And what you can do if you're in survival is just crouch when you stand on it and go one, two, three, and then open them. Do the same here. One, two, three. Uh, we ain't about to get that third one on now, I don't think. Nope, so we might have to jump for that one. Crouch and jump. There you go. And just do something like that. And then this side here, we're just going to place one and we're going to just pile it up. to four like that and then open those like so and it makes it look like there's a door there that's open okay that's looking pretty good guys i think we are pretty close to done now we're just going to add a little bit of decorations around to make it look like it's actually in use so let me just grab a few things all right guys so first of all what we're going to do we're going to start by placing a stack of logs over here so come one block away from the fence we're going to place one block like that and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to break that end one so that it's not joined to those logs, uh, to the fence there. Then we're going to place one there. Is that going to just going to join in, isn't it? Uh, actually, yeah, we'll leave that for now. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we might actually make this one longer like that, okay? So this is seven, this is six. Break that end one and maybe break that end one like that. Then we're going to go ahead put one there and go one two three four mm, go five like so and then i guess this one we're just going to bring it up something like that let's actually make these all one longer i think so like that i think that should give us enough room just about to kind of put in some of these so now on this very end one here we're going to put a rail and we're going to put it all the way over like that and we're going to do it the same in line with this one here okay so then bring it down and then down this side here as well so they kind of look like they've been strapped down if you if you like okay so that's looking good there we're going to go over to this little corner here and we're going to just stick a few crates so let's put two I suppose like that. So we've got like a zigzag onto the corner and then two on top. Um, over here, we'll put two crates just there. And then in front of this log, I think we're just going to go something like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks good. And then again, we're just going to make a stack of melons here like they're being loaded. Uh, melons or pumpkins. But what we want to do is we don't want them to be up here. Oh, they don't join. I thought melons joined to those fences. They don't. That's good. That's even better. So then we can put it right on top of the fence like that. And we can do that. And then maybe we might just have enough room here to do this. Let's go like this. Do another cross like that. And we can have a stack of pumpkins as well. Maybe we can actually move it over a little bit. Let's move it over just a little bit. So let's put the put those there like that maybe. And then these ones will do the same about here. Hmm, they don't, I don't want them looking the same. Let's maybe do something like that. Yeah, that I think that's a bit better. Something like that. And maybe have a spare. Oops, maybe have another one just like that. Or maybe we could even make it a pumpkin. There we go. Alright, so something like that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and just maybe place a couple of odd chests. Maybe something kind of like that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then inside here, guys, we could go ahead and kind of make it a bit like a like a little kind of warehouse, like it's loaded up in here. So let's go ahead and let's bring a beam up to the top at the back here. Like something kind of like that. Let's make a beam across here. Um, give it just fill that like so. That do. And then... I think I'm going to just fill the back with some cobblestone for the minute, just to bring it out so that it kind of looks like it matches up properly. It just looks a bit off otherwise. Something like that. Let's just throw a cobblestone up there, there, and there. 
Okay, right. Um, that's looking pretty good. So then let's try and make it look like some storage in here. So maybe we could put another pillar going down from here. We could put some crates around this edge like that. Um, maybe a few chests, put a double chest. Maybe some single chests, maybe even a couple of single chests like so. Let's, um, let's do some piles of melons maybe. Something like that. Hasn't got to be perfect. And then we'll get ourselves uh, some pumpkins as well. Let's do some pumpkins. Pumpkins, we'll go and stack some over in this corner here. Something like that. A couple more here. And maybe even some kind of like, like that maybe. So then you've got to kind of walk around to get to the back here. I think that looks pretty good. I think maybe a couple of more... Uh, that's a bit funny the way that's floating. Same there. Let's just uh, do. I think. Do you know what? I think that might actually just be good as it is. Yeah, that looks good. Then all we're gonna do here, guys, is break a few of the bits of floor here and replace it with some gravel. I like to make it look a bit kind of gravel around the edge of things. So like in doorways, I like to make it a bit of gravel, just kind of scatter it. But don't make it look too too much too close. And then it's just like like when you like make a patch of it, for instance, and then just dot a couple kind of about like this to kind of make it look like it's kind of just you know slowly worn out. You know? And then the same in the back here, go ahead and put a load in here. And then again, just Dot a little bit like that make it look a little bit worn that looks good then over here we're gonna do the same thing where this door is let's do that around some of these and then just yeah just try and scatter them out and just without overdoing it something kind of sort of like this And then we want to get a little bit like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe one there and there. Yeah, maybe a couple more where the wood is here. And then just, yeah, is, there's no really right or wrong way to place the gravel, guys. It's just really wherever you feel it looks right. Something kind of like that. You just want it to look a little bit rough in spots. Um, and I feel I might have just done a little bit too much there. Let's... Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, that looks better. Just be careful not to overdo it. You don't want to overdo it. And then finally, guys, if you want to, you just come down the side here. You go ahead and maybe just pile in, pile in a few of the note blocks as crates. You add it in a few chests, like just like someone's made a delivery and just left them at the side here. Crouch if you want to place some as well like that. I think some down there would be pretty good. And get your flowers, guys. And don't forget to put a flower in that little flower pot at the top by that window. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, and overall, guys, I think this does look pretty good. Now, when we've done the docks in the last episode, guys, one thing I didn't mention that's probably a good idea is going around and maybe putting in some, like, um, like some mossy stone brick and some cracked stone bricks. My, my brick texture already has a few variants with some cracks and that in it as uh, as it sort of comes out. But 
If you want, you can go ahead and add in some extra cracked stone bricks and maybe even some mossy, especially around the water line as well, just to make it look a bit nicer. I will go ahead and probably do that off camera so that next episode you'll be able to see exactly kind of what we've done and how it looks. But guys, I think that is just about it. I hope that I've got everything here. Um, one other little detail that you can add if you want to just kind of make things look a little bit nicer, a little pr bit pretty if you like, is get yourself some flower pots. Grab a couple of flowers of your choice. Um, maybe find something with a little bit of colour. Maybe get a bit of red. Or even that red. And uh, maybe even oh, the white ones you've already got. And then maybe like... Um, and make sure you keep hold of your flower pots. That's a good idea. And then just like on your little window ledge here. You can go ahead and put a flower. You know, if you really wanted, you could dot a flower anywhere you kind of choose really. Just to add sort of... You know just a, a bit of interest to the place it's not exactly something you'd probably store in a warehouse but it does add a little bit of interest um, yeah but overall I think that just about does it guys I think that is looking pretty good I'm pretty happy with the way this is shaping up guys and I'm really enjoying this series I think next episode we're gonna do the big in I'm really looking forward to doing that I think it's gonna be really cool and at some point, we're going to get around to doing an interior in here as well. We're going to turn this into like a little office area and maybe into a little house upstairs, maybe. So we're going to see how that all goes. But for now, guys, I think that is about it for today's build. So as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did and you want to see more in this series, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.